Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Event 201 today on the uh, report from Tiger Mountain, one of the many strange events that just happened shortly before the COVID outbreak began. Stick around and listen. Event 21, we'll get the examination from the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Event 201. I've mentioned it before on this show. Um, Event 201 was uh, basically um, a simulation um, that occurred at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. Um, a simulation of a global pandemic. It happened, um, I think it was September or October um, 2019, basically a month or two before the virus actually um, leaked um, from the lab in um, in Wuhan in China. So, you know, the timing of it is incredibly suspicious. And I mean, you know, it's just one of the many um, things that people who doubt uh, this event as being a legitimate um, public health crisis, you know, that's accidental anyway. Um, and also, I mean, it follows on from something like the lockstep um, document that um, uh, was a Rockefeller document that came out 10 years ago, where this basically what's happening now was, you know, outlined. Um, so, um, you know, it seems to have been almost like a, it, it happened over a course of a month. Uh, it was funded by, surprise, surprise, the World Economic Forum, uh, which is the Klaus Schwab, which is the Great Reset guy, and uh, his friends, which is George Soros and me, many others. And um, also, um, obviously, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Obviously, maybe Melinda's, uh, you know, we were removing a name from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so basically they funded it. And uh, it happened over a month. It was basically where they simulated the release of a coronavirus, a novel coronavirus that um, was spreading rapidly. And there was a woman by the name of Jane Halton, uh, she was the Australian representative there, and she is rumoured um, to be um, basically the uh, the controller of this psy operation in Australia um, for the global powers. She's the one that Scott Morrison, Daniel Andrews, um, Gladys Berejiklian, and that silly woman up in Queensland, and all the other state premiers report to, and then she reports to our global masters, um, you know, the World Economic Forum, Bill Gates, and people who are even above that probably, you know. Um, so this is what's going on, I think, you know. Um, so they, they simulated this this event, uh, you know, obviously because this kind of event, um, you know, basically they had to train their underlings, you know, and, and I mean, incredible thing is, is the fact when they did train them, they didn't really even keep it a secret. I mean, this event is just Google Event 201 and Google Jane Halton and she'll tell you about it. She was there, you know, getting instructions about how to run this country when this outbreak happens. And then one or two months later, it does happen, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, people say pandemic. I mean, you know, I mean, that event itself, you know, just stands out like dog's balls that something suspicious is going on. And, you know, has mainstream media, I mean, mainstream media may have mentioned it a couple of times in passing, but they never investigated it. Where's 60 Minutes? Where's Four Corners? I mean, it's up to the report for Tiger Mountain and, like, other independent uh, media to kind of even talk about this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's not like it's a secret. It's not like it's a kind of thing that someone speculates about the global elites. This is quite public... It, the results and the actual data from this um, simulation are all online. You can all look at it. And they're quite proud of the fact that they did it. I mean, you know, and this so happened, it's just coincidental that it happened a month or two um, before the actual, um, a real bioweapon um, or whatever it is, um, leaked from the lab in Wuhan. So it's really quite extraordinary. Um, so, you know, look into Jane Halton too. You know, she's a deeply suspicious uh, person. She's related to Brett Sutton. Uh, her hands are all over this at, at an elite level. She seems to be an intermediary between, I guess, our political class. She's a bureaucrat, you know, because really all this um, whole thing is a kind of, you know, elite bureaucratic kind of global uh, revolution against humanity um, and as a control operation. So, you know, just look into all that and uh, look into Event 2, ladies and gentlemen, just see World Economic Forum funded it, Bill and Linda the Gates funded it, and it's deeply suspicious. So keep being suspicious and keep looking for the truth. And thank you for listening. The report from Tiger Mountain. Cheers.